All right, Coach, back here on campus at the Goldring Tennis Center as you guys prepare to play the LSU Tigers tomorrow. Talk about what happens when the Tigers come to town. Well, you know, that's a, that's a fun rivalry. Uh, you know, LSU with being an hour away from us, it's always been a, a big two-lane LSU rivalry in every sport. So we always look forward to playing them. We uh, last year went to them, went to Baton Rouge and played, and we lost 3-4 as a second-year program. So we're really, really excited about it. And, you know, to be honest, we expect another battle tomorrow. They're going to come here and, you know, be ready to play as, as are we. And, uh, you know, it's just a fun rivalry. Uh, it's a good team. It should be an interesting battle for sure. You come up to about your team for a second, two and four in a year, and uh, come up short the last four times out there. But uh, you've been pleased the way your team's played in those losses. Absolutely. I mean, we, you know, we lost to Texas Tech. Uh, then we played Alabama, and then we went to Colorado and lost a really tight win. It came down to a third set to BYU. And then, uh, you know, played Denver really tough and uh, came out on the short side of that. But, you know, I tell the girls, you know, this, this schedule was crafted so, you know, so in a way that, you know, you're going to have to be able to respond. In any conditions that you play in, you have to be able to win and, and to figure out an adjustment. And, uh, you know, we went there in, in Denver and played at such high altitude that when the first day we were there, we had altitude sickness with a lot of girls complaining of nausea and headache. And, uh, you know, we played the first day, we hit the first day when we played BYU. And, you know, we played two teams that are used to that altitude, and we still only barely lost. So I was really excited about that. You know, I tell the girls all the time, I'm not really concerned about what our record is, okay? I'm concerned with the development phase of what we're doing here. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be any prouder. They, they gave those teams indoors on a fast court surface and in high altitude everything that they could handle and some. So, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not worried about being two and four in the year. I'm, I'm excited to see the progress we're making and where we're going. And uh, tomorrow's just another chance to uh, see, see how good we've got. Oh, it's still early in the year. Uh, it's only six matches in. Well, who's really made that big leap? It's third year of the program. You've got you know, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen on the team now. Who's made the biggest jump for you? Honestly, I, I'll say uh, I, I think, you know, first of all, I, I think everybody's doing a good job. But I, I do want to say that Hila Elster has really turned it up a notch this year for us. Um, last year she struggled a little bit, you know, her first year away from Israel. And uh, she came back this year really fit. Uh, she's doing a good job for us on the court. She's battling harder than I've ever seen her. And uh, so those are always, you know, nice things to see from a player. So Hila's done a really good job. Miriam's always, you know, just Miriam. You know, she's, she's just going to battle and do her best. Uh, and Malidi's done well for us. Uh, Liz Hamlin's made a big turn for us this year. Um, playing at three is tough. You know, she's playing some tough kids, and Liz is right there in every battle, every battle. And, you know, we talk about this with the entire team. It, it usually is just a couple of things that make a big difference. You know, a 30-all game, and maybe, you know, we didn't win that point, or, uh, you know, being 5-4 up, 40-love, and we lose the game, and that's a momentum shift. So, um, but I think the whole team's doing a good job. But I, I do think Gila and Liz are, are stepping up for us. And those two in uh, the BYU match, it came down to their court for the doubles point. And they won 9-8. It was 12-10 in the tiebreaker. So that was clutch for us. So, you know, one of our goals this year is to win that doubles point. So um, they're all doing a lot of, a lot of right things. What's it going to take for your team to come away with a win tomorrow? Uh, to come away with a win against LSU, uh, with it being such a big rivalry, there's going to be a couple things. Uh, how, you know, how mentally tough are you? You know, how, how are you going to act if something doesn't go your way? What if you get a bad call from the ref? Uh, I think mentally tough, and I think you're going to have to play with a lot of heart because there's so much parity in college tennis, and I think that so many teams, you know, from 30 to 80, at any given day can beat each other. You know, uh, it, it really, it all comes down to who shows up, who's ready to play, who's ready to battle. You know, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to win this match. It comes down to that mentality, and I think that's what it's going to come down to tomorrow. I think it's going to be a true battle. All right, Coach, thanks. Good luck. Thank you.